Welcome to the forest again. Today we're going to collect a different type of mushrooms because a season for bolets is finished. There's no more good mushrooms in the forest. However, there are plenty, plenty of other interesting mushrooms which I never collect because there's no opportunity. And I thought that today I can do it. I can try to learn the other mushrooms. So, I have my funny small basket today. I will try to fill it with plenty of different kind of mushrooms. Here is the first one I found. Very nice. I will take it. Good mushroom. Accidentally, this one is eatable. First one goes to the basket. My friends, today I will collect all interesting mushrooms, doesn't matter whether they are eatable or not. So this is eatable mushroom, bay bullet. So I will take it, because it's a different than the first one I found. So it will look nice, nice in the basket. But be prepared, because there will be plenty, plenty of weed mushrooms which normally people should not even collect. We shall see. Today I will collect mushrooms which I don't really know how they are called. I will try to find later a proper name of these mushrooms. I'm not sure that I won't be able to find names of all of them, but maybe I will learn at least a few new species today. Here is this one. Very kind of nice. I mean, it has a hole. Besides of this, it looks very nice, and I have no idea whether it's eatable or not. But I will take it today to a basket. Hopla. So, there are already three mushrooms in the basket. I think the basket today will be very colorful. Check it out. That is something which usually people completely ignore. They don't even think that it might be a mushroom, but it is. It's one of the smoking mushrooms. <laughs> this is so unusual to collect it to a basket, but this is the whole idea for today. This is it. This is our little mushroom. Apla. Here is a forest road. As everybody knows, mushrooms love to grow on the side of the road. And here we have a very beautiful Rusulla. I have the whole video about Rusullas only. I've collected this small basket of Rusulla. Today I take this one. And if I find other colors, I will take them as well. This is very nice specimen. Very clean. We can put it to the basket straight away. Already five different species of mushroom. This is amazing. What a surprise. I said that the season for bolets is finished and he is a bolet growing. Oh, doesn't look very nice. It's older and certainly is infected by the worms. I will make a quick dissection for all of us to be sure that it's not worth taking. Yes, it is consumed. Oh, not so good. But we look for other mushrooms. Look at this. Today I'm really hoping to collect this very peculiar, unusual mushrooms. And I think that this is a good example. Wow. What could it be, huh? It looks a little bit similar to chanterelle mushrooms. Certainly I will take it to the basket. And also, just next to it, deep in the moss, there are yellow rusullas. A whole nest of rusullas. This is a beautiful sight to be seen. Look at that. I'll take the big one and leave the children. Hey, this is nice rusulla. Very nice. I'm really happy with my mushrooming today. <laughs> Let's take it. more mushrooms to the basket. And look at this, another bullet. 
but it's very very soft I'm not even taking it from the ground but it's interesting let's take a look at this very nice yellow mushrooms they grow on the dead tree very very clearly they grow on this stem very nice I will take a bigger one one big one is here it will add a beautiful color to the basket it's very fragile but it looks nice well certainly this one cannot be eatable but it will look good in the basket by the way here are two mushrooms of the same species let's try to take a look at the mycelium mycelium is the proper mushroom the network which grows under the ground because this thing is just a fruiting body it's not the proper mushroom the mushroom is this white substance growing under the ground or in the wood my friends can you see what I can see yes no mistake only today we can collect a mushroom which normally should never even been touched by the person Amanita one of the Amanitas so I'm not sure if this is a death cup actually I think it's not I think it's a citron Amanita but certainly be careful with these mushrooms but what I will do today I will cut the leg it's by the way eaten by the worms and I will put it to the basket nice here we have some very very interesting mushrooms let's take it Hopla. nice and I can tell you that these ones are not eatable and I have to check because I'm not sure if this is the one the famous mushroom which killed the German scientist or not it looks kind of similar but it might be not a little bit too brown still I take it today to a basket and another beautiful colorful species of Rusula and we have three of them one two three I will take the middle one it has the nicest cup oh, I, I can feel that the legs are very soft eaten by the worms but the cup looks okay very nice color of the gills as well like a cream color okay I was missing a little bit of reddish color in my basket now it's better and here even deeper color of Rusula Opla, we have it looks good and by the way just next to it there is one of the milk cups growing let's try to take it oh it broke but it's okay it's a nice milk cup let's take it take a look how many mushrooms we take one of them because I don't have it yet oh it's not a small mushroom wow very nice very nice most of the mushroom which I will collect today they will have these gills okay so-called blades underneath I think the majority of mushrooms are the gills mushrooms and certainly many uneatable or even toxic ones they have a gills but today we only learn a new species we don't collect them to eat they look beautiful here is something I don't even know what is it let's, have, let's try to dig it wow this must be Amanita rubescens but I'm not sure it might be it might be just a small one it stopped growing because it's already cold wow with the snail let's try to take the snail away Hopla. we cut it oh so infected disgusting disgusting but from this side it looks good so we put it like this to the basket okay let it be let it be check it out 
one of my favorite rusullas. Wow. I have a shot with a big one. They look spectacular. They have this massive gills, very fragile, and this deep brown color. They are not poisonous. Some people even eat them, but I heard that they don't have much flavor. So they not they are not very kind of good mushrooms, high quality mushrooms. Look at that. What a collection today. My friends, this is the mushroom of the day. A huge purple rusula. Wow. Yeah, it, it was already consumed by the wars, worms, but it is big mushroom. What a mushroom. Wow, too big to my basket? Almost, almost. Let's quickly cut the leg. Look at this, how big the mushroom is compared to the basket. Let's try to fit it somewhere. Wow, I'm really struggling. Uh, has to be like this. <laughs> Check it out. We have a coral mushroom. Try to take a piece, piece of the fruiting body. Amazing, absolutely incredible mushroom, very nice. It will stay there. Look at this interesting little mushrooms. I don't have it, I will take it. Wow, looks very actually aesthetical. Nice. Let's cut the leg, cut the roots away. Very nice mushroom. There it is. Another big mushroom, and I don't know this mushroom. I don't know what species it is. Let's try to take it. I will try to find a name of this mushroom later. Whoa, it's a big mushroom. Big one. Interesting, interesting. Let's cut it, cut the leg. Of course infected, infected by the worms, too big for my basket, but anyway I take it. Check it out, this must be another Amanita mushroom. Oh, very very interesting, mushroom with the gills of course, with this bulb on the bottom, which is typical for Amanita family. Let's take it. Okay. You know, I have to also take these mushrooms. I see them very, very often. In, in my part of the forest, they are very common. They grow always on the stumps, in the big amounts, very often. And they have this wicked grey-green color very nice so i certainly take them today to my basket i'm almost sure that they are not eatable and no matter what i would never risk to collect them normally but today is a different day and obviously in the late autumn we have honey mushrooms one of them one of the species somebody was already cutting some hats I will take a one or two. I will take this big one. Now let me take one smaller one. Hopla. In the late autumn, in the middle of Europe, these mushrooms are very common. They are eatable. I personally don't like them, don't collect them. But many people do collect them and eat them, so I put them to the basket today. Well, we have this another rusula. It has a little bit different colors than the previous ones. So I will take it because it's very interesting. Generally, rusulas 
are certainly one of my favorite mushrooms although there's only one species which I collect for consumption it's not this one neither of today's the amount of different species of mushrooms in the forest is astounding now after I've collected I don't know maybe 15 different mushrooms I already start to get those what I already have and what not yet and I'm not absolutely sure if I had this one before but I think not it's, it's darker than what I saw before so let's take it and in the end I will check I will take them all out line them up and see what really I was able to collect and here we have another mushrooms let's check what could it be oh it's this one these little mushrooms they're actually eatable but I don't like them but today I will take it because normally I don't take them so I can take them today let's put a little bit more colors to the basket here my friends now I am really really happy because I found this mushroom I saw it multiple times around here in just maybe 50 square meters and no other place in the forest this is very very unusual mushroom it's a big mushroom and it has the spikes underneath it looks unreal like from the other world it's dark mushroom with this type of like a some some how to call it some pattern on top and the wicked part is that I think that this one is actually a table I'm just not familiar with this mushroom so I never collected incredible and so huge when I put it to the basket it covers half of the basket <laughs> but I'm really happy that I found it I wanted to show you this mushroom and by the way it's just a whole colony here and how big they are look I'll put my my hand on one of them the mushroom is like two of my hands huge huge mushroom incredible and one more interesting species which normally I don't collect but I know that these ones are eatable but not very good Ooh, definitely eatable by the snails because snail ate the whole sponge almost they have a nice top like a little bit camouflage let's put it basket is certainly very very full full basket of unusual mushrooms very nice and finally my friends the biggest scene when you go to the forest to collect mushrooms well the most almost biggest one you normally don't collect fly agaric mushroom but it looks so beautiful I'm not going to discuss about a certain theories of some people that microdosis of this mushroom may be very actually beneficial for the health and even if not it might be quite entertaining wonderful mushroom but it is a beautiful mushroom and it will look very nice in the basket Oh, I have to be careful because most of these mushrooms are really very fragile and the basket is so full look at this absolutely stunning wonderful I am almost finished for today I will be heading home because the days are shorter it's getting dark quickly but just in the very end I found this small parasol mushroom check it out also very attractive very very nice it looks like it has a sheet on top <laughs> many people like parasol mushroom there are multiple eatable species how to put it wow mountain of mushrooms in the very last moment it looks like I was lucky and I found some very nice mushroom doesn't look like much from the top because
because it's a little bit cold lately so it lost its intense color but this mushroom normally is pale purple nice purple color we can see underneath it is this bluish kind of color nice and if I'm not mistaken if this is the mushroom I'm thinking about it actually can be eaten let's take it Hopla. Hopla there. wow full full basket of mushrooms excellent ha look at this infamous fake truth I don't know why some people may mistake it by a truth but it's not of course <laughs> I'll take it it's a very interesting mushroom and I will show you all together with my collection I'll just cut the bottom part and I have a bowl mushroom bowl very nice okay this is the end of our today's adventure I have a basket full of mushrooms now I will take them out and try to see how many different species are all together. Of course we have our beautiful fly agaric mushroom. Excellent, excellent. I, I will prepare them and I come back to you. Okay my friends, these are all the mushrooms. If I counted correctly, there are 37 different species of mushrooms here. Check it out, quite a good collection. So I will try to find the names of these mushrooms, if I will be sure of them, because certainly I will not be able to find the names for all of the species. But maybe we will learn something new today. Tell me what you think about today's video and about mushrooms from the forest. See you next time. I prepare, I will take few of the species, few of these mushrooms to make a experiment science video. Next one will be a little bit surprise. So have a nice day.